Well, hello again. It's good to be back with you again one more time this week. And uh, I've had some thoughts that I'd like to share with you very briefly uh, since this morning when I, I did my devotions. This is Father Andy coming to you from the Solid Rock Church in Winter Haven, an oratory of the Anglican Union. My devotions this morning had me in Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. It was in chapter 3. And I came across this phrase, this, this verse, verse 5 of chapter 3, that really got my attention. Let me read it to you. Chapter 3, verse 5 of 2 Thessalonians reads this way. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. The steadfastness of Christ was the phrase that really got my attention, and I've pondered it for a little while today. Uh, I went and checked a couple of commentaries, and... Uh, it really, it, it, the context of, of this particular verse is important too, because Paul has just encouraged the Thessalonians uh, to be in prayer, prayer about a couple of different, different things, and this is after he has commended them for their faith, uh, but he knows that they're also going through some struggles. Let me back it up a little bit, read the first few verses before that. Chapter 3 starts with, and finally, brothers, pray for us that the word of the Lord may made that the word of the Lord may speed ahead and be honored as happened among you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord about you that you are doing and will do the things that we command. I encourage you to go back and read earlier in 1st and 2nd Thessalonians about those things that you are doing and will do the things that we command and then here's verse 5 may the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ you know just went through my mind that when Paul asked him to be pray to pray for them to pray for him to be bold to pray for him to be protected uh, and then he said Understand about the steadfastness of Christ, the love, the love of God and the steadfastness of Christ. For them to understand about how much it is to ponder, to meditate on, to think on, to let it uh, just marinate in your mind, if you will, how much God loves them. And that's good for us to do, how much God loves us, how much God loves you. And not just that. But then to ponder also the steadfastness of Christ, the steadfastness of Christ. You know, Christ faced all kinds of temptations through his entire life, just the way you and I do. And yet he was steadfast against every single one of them. Paul says, in a sense, again, meditate on them. Meditate on the way Jesus overcame those trials, those tribulations, those temptations. Three big T's. You know, the book of Hebrews in 12th chapter, it says, For the joy set before him, that is, set before Jesus, he endured the cross. But even before the cross, he endured all kinds of things, knowing that it was for the same reason, for your redemption, for my redemption, for the redemption of anybody who would so choose to follow Jesus and to know him. And so I encourage you today with that to ponder how much God loves you. I mean, really think about it. Read the scripture in other places where it talks about the love of God. And as sometimes people say, put your name in there, that God so loved your name. God so loved Andy that he gave his only begotten son, that if Andy believes in him, he should not perish, but have everlasting life. Put your name in there. Find other passages to do that. Ponder the love of God. And then also ponder, contemplate, meditate on the steadfastness of Christ, that through every temptation, every trial, every tribulation, every temptation, he resisted it. Are we going to be able to resist everyone? Probably not. I would bet my last dollar on no or not. But it will still encourage us to know that Jesus, and he was able to do this, even though doctrine down through church history has said, Jesus is fully God, but also fully man, also fully man. And in his humanness, and by his trusting in his heavenly Father, 
he was able to rise up against a temptation, a trial, go through a trial, go through a tribulation with his father's help. Are you going through a trial, a tribulation? Is there a temptation that's facing you that you would like to master? Contemplate how much God loves you. Contemplate the steadfastness of Christ. And then lastly, I'll throw in one other verse, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. For no temptation has seized you except that which is common to man, and God is faithful. For when you are tempted, he'll provide a way out that you might be able to stand up under it. That may not be a direct quote, but it's pretty dang close. Anyway, contemplate God's love for you and the steadfastness of Christ. You'll be strengthened. Father God, I pray for everyone that's watching this video. May they be strengthened in whatever trial or tribulation or temptation they are facing. May they know you better through it all and by the strength that you give them to avoid temptations and for you to carry them through any tribulation or trial they may be facing. Thank you, Jesus, that you're always with us. You promised to never leave us. And thank you that you endured the cross and every other temptation because you loved us so. Help us to understand that better, to think about it, to affect us to the depths of our soul, all for your glory and for our joy and fellowship with you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. If you haven't subscribed yet to these videos, please do so. If you haven't clicked the, icon, the bell icon to be notified when there's a new video, please do so. And if you don't have a church home, join us uh, anytime you can via online or in, purpose, in person at Solid Rock Church on Cypress Gardens Road in Winter Haven. And again, if you are care to, if you'd like to make a financial donation, we would gl gladly receive it and use it to the best of our ability to glorify God. Uh, online links are on our website at thesolidrockchurch.info. God bless you all. Have a great day, great weekend. Worship Jesus this Sunday for his glory and for your blessing. Bye-bye.